The Ford Mustang is a series of American automobiles manufactured by Ford. In continuous production since 1964, the Mustang is currently the longest produced Ford car nameplate. Currently in its seventh generation, it is the fifth best selling Ford car nameplate. The namesake of the pony car automobile segment, the Mustang was developed as a highly styled line of sporty coupes and convertibles derived from existing model lines, initially distinguished by long hood, short deck proportions. 3. Originally predicted to sell 100,000 vehicles yearly, the 1965 Mustang became the most successful vehicle launched since the 1927 Model A. 4. Introduced on April 17, 1964. 5. 16 days after the Plymouth Barracuda, over 400,000 units were sold in its first year. The one millionth Mustang was sold within two years of its launch. 6. In August 2018, Ford produced the 10 millionth Mustang, matching the first 1965 Mustang. The vehicle was a 2019 Wimbledon white convertible with a V8 engine. 7. The success of the Mustang launch led to multiple competitors from other American manufacturers, including the Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird, 8, 1967, AMC Javelin, 1968, and Dodge Challenger, 9, 1970. It also competed with the Plymouth Barracuda, which was launched around the same time. The Mustang also had an effect on designs of coupes worldwide, leading to the marketing of the Toyota Celica and Ford Capri in the United States, the latter, by Lincoln Mercury. The Mercury Cougar was launched in 1967 as a unique bodied higher trim alternative to the Mustang. During the 1970s, it included more features and was marketed as a personal luxury car. From 1965 until 2004, the Mustang shared chassis commonality with other Ford model lines, staying rear wheel drive throughout its production. From 1965 to 1973, the Mustang was derived from the 1960 Ford Falcon Compact. From 1974 until 1978, the Mustang, denoted Mustang II, was a longer wheelbase version of the Ford Pinto. From 1979 until 2004, the Mustang shared its Fox platform chassis with 14 other Ford vehicles, becoming the final one to use the Fox architecture. Since 2005, Ford has produced two generations of the Mustang, each using a distinct platform unique to the model line. Through its production, multiple nameplates have been associated with the Ford Mustang series, including GT, Mach 1, Boss 302-429, Cobra, separate from Shelby Cobra, and Bullet, along with 5.0 fender badging, denoting 4.9 LOHV or 5.0 LDOHC V8 engines, name. Executive stylist John Najjar, who was a fan of the World War II P-51 Mustang fighter plane, is credited by Ford with suggesting the name, 10, 11, Najjar co-designed the first prototype of the Ford Mustang known as the Ford Mustang I in 1961, working jointly with fellow Ford stylist Philip T. Clark, 12. The Mustang I made its formal debut at the United States Grand Prix in Watkins Glen, New York, on October 7, 1962, where test driver and contemporary Formula One race driver Dan Gurney lapped. The track in a demonstration using the second race prototype, 13. An alternative view was that Robert J. Eggert, Ford Division Market Research Manager, first suggested the Mustang name. Eggert, a breeder of quarter horses, received a birthday present from his wife of the book, The Mustangs by J. Frank Doby in 1960. Later, the book's title gave him the idea of adding the Mustang name for Ford's new concept car. The designer preferred Cougar, Early styling bucks can be seen wearing a Cougar grill emblem, or Torino, an advertising campaign using the Torino name was actually prepared, while Henry Ford II wanted T-Bird II, 14, as the person responsible for Ford's research on potential names, Eggert added Mustang to the list to be tested by focus groups, Mustang, by a wide margin, came out on top under the heading, suitability as name for the special car. 15, 16, the name could not be used in. Germany, 14, however, because it was owned by Krupp, which had manufactured trucks between 1951 and 1964 with the name Mustang. Ford refused to buy the name for about US dollars equivalent to $94,356 in 2022, 17, from Krupp at the time. Kreidler, a manufacturer of mopeds, also used the name, so Mustangs were sold in Germany as T5s until December 1978. Lee Iacocca's assistant general manager and chief engineer, 
Donald N. Fry was the head engineer for the T5 project supervising the overall development of the car in a record 18 months, 19, while Iacocca himself championed the project as Ford Division General Manager, 20, the T5 prototype was a two-seat, mid-mounted engine roadster. This vehicle employed the German Ford Taunus V4 engine. The original 1962 Ford Mustang I two-seater concept car had evolved into the 1963 Mustang II four-seater concept car which Ford used to pretest how the public would take interest in the first production Mustang. The 1963 Mustang II concept car was designed with a variation of the production model's front and rear ends with a roof that was 2.7 in, 69 mm, lower, 21, it was originally based on the platform of the second-generation North American Ford Falcon, a compact car, 22, Gail Halderman's side-view design is the basis for the first clay model. The Ford Mustang began production five months before the normal start of the 1965 production year. The early production versions are often referred to as 1964 one-half models, but all Mustangs were advertised, been coded and titled by Ford as 1965 models, though minor design updates in August 1964 at the formal start of the 1965 production year contribute to tracking 19641-2 production data separately from 1965 data. See data below. Dot, 25, with production beginning in Dearborn, Michigan, on March 9, 1964 Wink with a frown 26, the new car was, on April 14, 1964, first sold to the public at a Ford dealership in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada, 27, before it was even introduced on April 17, 1964, 28, at the New York World's Fair, 29, body styles available included a two-door hardtop and convertible, with a 2 plus 2 fastback added to the line in September 1964. A Wimbledon white, paint code P, 5, Convertible with red interior was used as product placement when the James Bond movie Goldfinger was released September 17, 1964, at its London premiere, where Bond girl Tilly Masterson was in a spirited chase with James driving an Aston Martin DB5 in the Swiss Alps. A tropical turquoise, paint code 5 coupe was again used in the next film Thunderball at its Tokyo premiere December 9, 1965, with Bond girl Fiona Volpe as she drives James to meet the villain Emilio Largo at his compound at a very high speed across the Bahamas. Favorable publicity articles appeared in 2,600 newspapers the next morning, the day the car was officially revealed, 30, 31, a four-seat car with full space for the front bucket seats and a rear bench seat was standard. A fastback 2 plus 2, first manufactured on August 17, 1964, enclosed the trunk space under a sweeping exterior line similar to the second series Corvette Stingray and European sports cars such as the Jaguar E-Type Coupe.To achieve an advertised list price of US$2,368, equivalent to $21,990 in 2022, 17. The Mustang was based heavily on familiar yet simple components, many of which were already in production for other Ford models, 32, many, if not most, of the interior, chassis, suspension, and drivetrain components were derived from those used on Ford's Falcon and Fairlane. This use of common components also shortened the learning curve for assembly and repair workers, while at the same time allowing dealers to pick up the Mustang without also having to invest in additional spare parts inventory to support the new car line. Original sales forecasts projected less than 100,000 units for the first year, 33, this mark was surpassed in three months from rollout, 5, another 318,000 would be sold during the model year, a record, comma, 5, and in its first 18 months, more than 1 million Mustangs were built. Several changes were made at the traditional opening of the new model year, beginning August 1964, including the addition of backup lights on some models, the introduction of alternators to replace generators, an upgrade of the six-cylinder engine from 170 to 200 cu in, 2.8 to 3.3 l, with an increase from 101 to 120 horsepower, 75 to 89 kilowatts, and an upgrade of the V8 engine from 260 to 289 cu in, 4.3 to 4.7 l, with an increase from 164 to 210 horsepower. 122 to 157 kilowatts. The rush into production included some unusual quirks, such as the horn ring bearing the Ford Falcon logo, covered by a trim ring with a Ford Mustang logo. 
these characteristics made enough difference to warrant designation of the 121,538 early versions as 1964 one-half Mustangs, a distinction that has endured with purists. 34. Ford's designers began drawing up larger versions even as the original was achieving sales success, and while Iacocca later complained about the Mustang's growth, he did oversee the 1967 redesign. 35. From 1967 until 1973, the Mustang got bigger but not necessarily more powerful. 36. The Mustang was facelift, giving the Mustang a more massive look overall and allowing a big block engine to be offered for the first time. Front and rear end styling was more pronounced, and the twin cove instrument panel offered a thicker crash pad and larger gauges. Hard top, fast back, and convertible body styles continued as before. Around this time, the Mustang was paired with a Mercury variant, called the Cougar, which used its own styling cues, such as a Prowling Cat logo and hidden quad headlamps. New safety regulations by the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, for 1967 included an energy-absorbing steering column and wheel, four-way emergency flashers, and a dual-circuit hydraulic braking system, and softer interior knobs. The 1968 models received revised side scoops, steering wheel, and gasoline caps. Side marker lights were also added that year, and cars built after January 1, 1968, included shoulder belts for both front seats on coupes. The 1968 models also introduced a new 302 CUN, 4.9L, V8 engine, designed with federal emissions regulations in mind. The 1969 restyle added more heft to the body as width and length again increased. Weight went up markedly too. 35. Due to the larger body and revised front-end styling, the 1969 models, but less so in 1970, had a notable aggressive stance. The 1969 models featured quad headlamps which disappeared to make way for a wider grille and a return to standard headlamps in the 1970 models. This switch back to standard headlamps was an attempt to tame the aggressive styling of the 1969 model, which some felt was too extreme and hurt sales, but 1969 production exceeded the 1970 total.